Hello, and welcome to the General Data Capture module. This module covers the universal rules of data capture, as well as the phonetic alphabet and tips to help accurately capture the caller's intent. When the system prompts a caller for certain types of information, such as a phone number, social security number, account number, zip code, driver's license number, or order number, they must be entered manually. There are rules that must be followed when doing so. Rule number one, always capture information in lowercase unless the caller specifically states a letter should be capitalized. For example, when a caller says 1, 2, B, 6, capital H, capture 1, 2, lowercase b, 6, capital H. Rule number two, Capture everything the caller says exactly as stated, including letters, numbers, and special characters. Some of the more common special characters are dots or periods, dashes, also known as hyphens or minus signs, ampersands, and signs or and symbols, asterisks or stars, commas, apostrophes, the at sign, and number signs, also known as hashes or pound signs. Remember, these should only be captured if provided by the caller. If a caller gives their phone number as 555x3 ampersand 1, capture it exactly as stated, even though a phone number should not have the letter X or an ampersand within it. Rule number three. If the caller provides more than was asked for, record the information as stated. Specific prompts might request a caller to only give a set amount of information such as the last four digits of their social security. If the caller provides all nine numbers, capture all nine. This rule also applies when the caller is being asked for their first name, then provides both their first and last name. If the application allows for it, capture both the first and last names. The exception to this rule is when the caller is being asked for specific information and provides more than the system is capable of handling. For example, if the transcript says, please give me your account or phone number, and the caller responds with, my account number is 12345678, and my phone number is 987654321. Capture only the first set of numbers the caller provides, in this case, the account number. Rule number four. If the caller is prompted for a specific type of information and instead provides unrelated information, submit no match instead. For example, if the system is prompting the caller for a phone number and the caller says, my zip code is 78650, submit no match. Rule number five, if a transcript or previous attempt field is viewable, use it as context when making corrections. For example, if the previous attempt has 555-1234 listed as the caller's number, and the caller says, no, it's not 34, it's 43. Due to the previous attempt box, we can determine the caller's number is 555-1243 and should retype it in its entirety along with the corrections. Rule number six. If the caller provides a partial number, capture what you can. For example, a caller says, my zip code is 783, submit 783. Even though we know a zip code is five or nine digits long, it is better to capture part of it than nothing at all. Rule number seven, if the caller provides and then redacts information, select garbled slash incomplete. For example, the caller says, my phone number is 505, oh wait, that's wrong, let me start over. Do not capture anything in the data entry field. Although the caller did provide a partial number, because they stated it was incorrect and did not provide us with a correct replacement, it is handled with garbled slash incomplete. Note, this also covers scenarios where the beginning, middle, or end of the audio is garbled. Rule number eight, do not capture unnecessary spaces. With the exception of specific capture prompts in a handful of applications, Spaces should never be captured. Adding spaces in account numbers, phone numbers, zip codes, order numbers, and most numeric data capture is unnecessary even when mentioned by the caller, unless otherwise stated by the application. Note, 
accidental spaces and spaces included after entered data are always considered incorrect. Callers often indicate letters using that A is in apple, B is in boy format. This is known as the phonetic alphabet. The most commonly used version is the NATO phonetic alphabet, which is as follows. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, and Zulu, or Z, which is typically used in Canada. The caller might diverge from the standard phonetic alphabet, and in these cases, the first letter of each word should be captured instead. Keep in mind, not all callers utilize the phonetic alphabet. If they don't, capture what they say to the best of your ability. Use the previous attempt field for context. Remember that certain letters sound similar and adjust accordingly. S, F, and X sound similar. A and H can sound the same. C and Z. M and N and 2 and Q can be confused, as well as V, B, D, E, P, and T. For example, if it sounds like the caller says and spells their name as Victor, that's B I C T O R, it should be clear that Victor is incorrect and V-I-C-T-O-R is the correct handling of the caller's intent. When the caller provides you with a name or word, followed by its spelling, this spelling is best used for refining the caller's true intent. If you feel the spelling contradicts the true intent of the caller, default to what the caller initially says. Use this logic when capturing a name or word. This concludes the general data capture module. Now take a short quiz to make sure you have a thorough understanding of these concepts before moving on.